Ella Dorsey's here tracking uh, what is coming our way. Yeah, so we have first alert weather days Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. The big impacts will be from Wednesday afternoon through Friday morning. That's when you're going to have to be on high alert for very heavy rain. Right now, we're under mostly cloudy skies, 75 degrees, a little bit cooler than yesterday. Those clouds will keep things just slightly cooler. We hit 96 yesterday, 93 is the high today. Can't rule out stray showers. Seen a few out there right now. Can't rule out a stray thunderstorm. But the uh, rain coverage will be low. Today's probably the last 90 degree day of the year, guys. So enjoy it. Potential cyclone nine still spinning in the Caribbean, gaining strength, likely to become a tropical storm later today and a hurricane by tomorrow. Rapid intensification is still forecasted. This thing likely to be a cat three, but Based on what I'm seeing, I'm seeing the potential for even a cat four at landfall. This is the reason we do the cone, because this thing could make landfall anywhere from Panama City all the way down to Tampa. I will tell you, the tracks are shifting a little bit further to the east, which would mean more significant impacts for the Tampa area. That's something we'll be watching closely. Here's the difference in this storm. It's going to move very quickly and it's going to maintain its strength. At this point, if it keeps its current track, it will move directly over us here in North Georgia on Friday morning as a tropical storm. We do not see that often. Last time we saw a tropical storm was Zeta back in 2020 and we saw massive power outages. So if this track pans out, we will see significant impacts Thursday into Friday. So let's start you out tomorrow. It will be mostly dry on the map tomorrow morning, but by tomorrow afternoon, a cold front moves in. This is not tropical rains, but heavy rain and thunder likely from Atlanta off to the west tomorrow evening. This could impact the commute home. The tropical rain will arrive by Thursday morning. It will be a washout pretty much all day on Thursday. Really, really heavy rain, but the heaviest of the rain and the greatest impacts will actually arrive Thursday night into Friday morning. That's when the center of the storm is forecasted to move over us. Friday morning could be really bad guys. Torrential downpours and very gusty winds. We will see massive improvements by Friday afternoon. So that is the good news as we head into the weekend. So looking at Thursday and Friday, torrential downpour rains from Thursday morning through Friday morning. Tropical storm force winds, power outages definitely possible. will dry out Friday afternoon. In terms of how much rain, this is what a lot of the models are spitting out. Really high rainfall totals, four to nine inches of rain that would cause significant flooding. Okay, so really that is a major impact. Now in terms of the wind, you can see the blue is just breezy winds, but the orange that you see is tropical storm force winds. Most models are predicting that we are going to see some of those tropical storm force winds across East Georgia Thursday night into Friday. That could certainly bring down trees. So again, we're going to be watching this closely. A small shift in the track would mean a lot less wind damage for us, but I'm still thinking we're going to get in on a heck of a lot of rain. The good news is we will see big improvements with mostly dry conditions as we head into this upcoming weekend.